This is the only asset class where the retail has front run, front run the institution. Uh, I expect the EBM sidechain to have the potential to be the main uh, or the biggest use case of the XRP ledger. Most of the protocols will be interested in uh, targeting all this liquidity, targeting all this uh, user base that we have. You've got an ability to create enormous wealth on a distributed basis to all sorts of people who are not included. You know, my personal view is this industry goes from a two and a half trillion on industry today and probably hits about 100 trillion by about 2032 or so. That's just That's so elegantly put it, right? This is the only asset class where the retail has front run, front run the institution. All that asset class is the institution that adopt it and then try, try to sell it to the retail, right? We can see Finkelstein, I call him, but he's Larry Fink, is out there with his tokenization, his love for tokenization, which is a derivative proxy that gets inserted between the assets you own. I think it's an evolution, right? This is not going to happen overnight. I mean, we've been in the business of doing this for, for many years. We have 300 plus customers that are using Ripple's technology to facilitate cross-border payments. And Do you expect September to be in? Yeah, we're, we're in the September camp for sure. And we think there's a great likelihood actually that we could get three cuts. Know what you hold? Enjoy the ride, pal. It's the XLP Army. Welcome back to some more Moon O'Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra. Foolishness, shout out to the latest sub. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Smashing them likeies, stuffing some baggies. Looks like XRP setting up for that next. Base melting. Pop. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap today, 2.52 trillion, down about 0.6% in the past 24. We got XRP currently in that number six spot, right around 60 cents. Stellar XLM in the number 30 spot, right around 10 cents. We got BTC 67,222 ETH, right around 3300. We got Flare Networks right around 0.0184. Axelar 65 cents. We got XDC right around three cents. Stronghold 0044. Songbird 009. Zahao right around six cents. Evernode right around 11 cents. We got one from the CME group to pop things off starting today gain access to reliable pricing on cme cf internet computer dollar and xrp dollar reference rates and real-time indices view prices new cme cf reference rates and real-time indices for xrp icp we got one from ripple x dev pure says the code in the future blockchain discover what excites him about xrp ledger and what innovative developments are on the horizon Obviously, I'm very biased, but uh, I'm very excited for the EVM sidechain. Uh, I expect the EVM sidechain to have the potential to be the main uh, or the biggest use case of the XRP ledger. Most of the protocols will be interested in uh, targeting all this liquidity, targeting all this uh, user base that we have. And I think this can create a, a growth and explosion somehow of the XRP ledger that any and none other amendment uh, had the capacity to create. This doesn't mean it's guaranteed, but at least it has the potential and we are working and fighting to, to make it, it possible. But at the Digital Pound Foundation, Digital Pound Foundation member Ripples holding their annual Swell event in Miami, October 15th through the 16th, bringing together leading minds and payments, financial services, blockchain, digital assets. Request your invite from Ripple today. Ripple Swell, Digital Pound Foundation. Meanwhile, we got Kamala Harris meeting with Ripple, Coinbase, and cryptocurrencies. Good morning, crypto breaking. Kamala Harris campaign confirms that the vice president team has met with Ripple, Coinbase, Circle, all roads lead to the bridge, XRP. We got one from Riz XRP, history in the makings, retail front runs, the institutions, digital assets are the golden ticket. You've got an ability to create enormous wealth on a distributed basis to all sorts of people who are not included. You know, my personal view is this industry goes from a two and a half trillion on industry today and probably hits about a hundred trillion by about 2032 or so. That's just extrapolating the normal adoption curve, not, not doing anything crazy. That growth from two and a half trillion to a hundred trillion would be the fastest, largest um, accumulation of wealth in all human history. But for once, it's in the hands of the many. This was a retail revolution. The re retail front ran the institutions. So people have 
this once in a lifetime chance to be able to invest in this infrastructure layer of the internet and have an ownership of it. And that is incredibly egalitarian and democratic in ways that the financial system has not been. Yes. As, as you, as you so elegantly put it, right? This is the only asset class where the retail has front run, run, run the institution. All that asset class is the institution that adopt it and then try, try to sell it to the retail, right? So this is a fascinating industry to watch. And I've seen crypto, I mean, I've traveled the world quite extensively. I've seen crypto changes the life of so many oh. people and so many people to come. And that is part of the excitement for me as well. We front ran the institutions and the banks, but now they're getting ready to come in and pump our bags up. Pump our bags up. Know what you hold? We got the black swan capitalists considering how Bitcoin, Solana, and ETH have been co-opted by BlackRock. It makes sense to push for a global ID to control smart contracts, tokenized assets. XRP, unlike its counterparts, is sovereign, decentralized, and regulated. And I would certainly say it's time for the global ID. We can see Finkelstein, I call him, but he's Larry Fink, is out there with his tokenization, his love for tokenization, which is a derivative proxy that gets inserted between the assets you own. And that for that to work, you need the ID that gets associated to all the assets that you own. So it's okay, it's Francis, he owns that car and that property. And then later, as I say, um, I, I understate its value according to the law on the property and they have the right to do an immediate purchase with their tokens and I now, uh, you know, and immediately a rental agreement uh, comes into play and I'm now a tenant in my own house. John D. in the U.S. national debt has reached an unprecedented 35 trillion. Let me show you how huge the number one trillion is. One trillion seconds is equal to 31,710 years. 35 trillion equates to 103,827 own per citizen. We cannot tax our way out of this mess. Likewise, we cannot cut spending enough to solve the problem. Taxing and spending cuts are not enough. We must grow the economy and lift the people out of poverty and expand the middle class. It is the only way. Mr. Man XRP, this is exactly how Ripple is shaping the financial landscape for digital adoption. They've upgraded the messaging system where SWIFT was unable to. They streamlined liquidity bottlenecks via the Ripple and payments on demand liquidity. They move more real value through the use of XRP. I think it's an evolution, right? This is not going to happen overnight. I mean, we've been in the business of doing this for, for many years. We have 300 plus customers that are using Ripple's technology to facilitate cross-border payments. And when we would walk into a financial institution, usually a larger bank, let's say five years ago, we couldn't utter the word, you know, digital asset or XRP or stablecoin. It's like, we'll never touch it. We're not going to do it. Never talk about crypto. That has changed dramatically. But at the time, we weren't going to force fit it. And so we'd focus on elements of the solution we could solve. We started with solving the messaging problem. So, you know, many people here, I'm sure, are familiar with Swift. It's been around for 50 plus years, not a lot of change until very, very recently. And so we created a better messaging system that allowed, you know, cross-border messaging to happen, um, you know, much more quickly, highly reliable. That didn't really address the liquidity problem of you needed to, in the old correspondent banking system, you know, park funds in correspondent banks around the world. So when a payment was made, money really wasn't moving cross borders. It was already sitting where it needed to be. It was a hugely inefficient use of, of, of capital, right? You had trillions of dollars sitting in correspondent banking and no store accounts, as they call them. And waiting for payment instructions. So then we used a digital asset. We focused on XRP as this bridge currency. Again, not trying to replace fiat on either side, but it's just trying to make the movement um, of the capital move at the same time the message moved. So again, a, a, a not a replacement of the old system. Uh, well, in some ways, a replacement of what a lot of Swift was doing, but it's still largely the same end user experience. And I really agree. It doesn't matter to the end user, be it a business or a consumer or whatnot, what's happening underneath the hood. It's just, if it's faster, if it's more reliable, if I can get over the weekends versus working, waiting for a weekday, um, and if the costs are lower, that's really what matters. And so it's working with sort of the established players to make sure that they're realizing the benefit of the blockchain, oftentimes without needing to become experts themselves, sort of abstracting that away and um, allowing them to, to realize that benefit um, is, is a core focus of ours. 
XRP drops bullish. Black Rocks more expects three rate cuts starting in September 2024. Blowout GDP number last week. And um, nonetheless, most people are still calling for rate cuts. Do you expect September to be it? Yeah, we're, we're in the September camp for sure. And we think there's a great likelihood actually that we could get three cuts uh, in 2024 and then one in the first part of 2025 and then kind of a pause that refreshes. We'll take a look at kind of the impact of the 100 basis points of cuts and see what that does for the economy. Flare community emissions incoming. Notice anything different with the Flare portal. Soon you'll be able to turbocharge your returns when interacting with applications on Flare Network via the newly passed emissions program, unlocking 510 Flare war chests. The initiative is aimed to catalyze an adoption with the first two projects being Stargate Finance and Layer Zero Labs, help and facilitate the inflow of stable coins such as USDT and USDC into Flare. We got Santiment Feed and some charts to close out. Santiment Feed, the crypto community has shown an increased focus on Bitcoin eth and solana compared to meme coins and other sectors crypto's consistent rise occurs most often when there is a focus on top caps a sign of caution rather than more speculative assets a sign of greed coins kid bitcoin hasn't made a new all-time high in over four months btc is currently running into a potential trend line resistance has been rejected since march of this year i'm looking for a one into a two here then a potential third impulsive wave to break out and continue making new all-time highs for btc the pa is a bit boring it's usually during the summer low enjoy the summer bitcoin magazine justin u.s government splits the two billion worth of bitcoin into two addresses of 10,000 btc and 19,800 bitcoin we got mustache golden cross for the total market cap of crypto it's time folks in 2016 and 2020 the big bull run slash parabola finally started after this cross and we got the charting guy xrp monthly bollinger band titus and history check stochastic rsi bullish cross check symmetrical triangle apex close check xrp btc bottom check sec case over soon rsi bullish cross RSI also has a pending six and a half year downtrend break. Imagine fading this because your bias. Tighten the crypto, Bitcoin, all stars align. A buy signal has just appeared on the weekly time frame. Very significant. What a time to be alive. A dark defender, here's your updated structure in the daily time frame. XRP is ready to break the triangle within 24 hours. Not financial advice. And with that being said, Batman bag ladies, XRP, the stars are aligning and the case is coming to a close. And remember, Brad Garland House said, look out for the end of summer for case closure. Everything's lining up for a monumental pump. The longer they take, the higher we climb. On that XRP rich list, let our friend know there's the greatest opportunity. Multiple lifetimes are still at hand, but the trains left the station. Tick tock, tick tock, where are those bags beat? When that regulation drama lasts, finally breaks open. An XRP's true price is finally revealed. Big bad to the future. Later glitches. Be our passion, cause what you focus on, you attract like a magnet. Got diamond hands, we hold to we blasting. It's universal law.